get this today. Welcome back to the crazy kitchen. We at it again. This meal is going to be vegan slash oil free. Mm hmm. I said oil free. Um, I'm going to use frozen broccoli for this. You can use fresh broccoli, about three cups. If you like a lot of broccoli, do more. If you don't like so much broccoli, do less. But this is about three cups of frozen broccoli that I'm going to. Um, we're going to roast them. So. We're gonna roast the broccoli and we're gonna roast some chickpeas together. So you'll need about, you can use either a can of chickpeas, a jar of chickpeas, or you can do fresh chickpeas, but you're gonna do about maybe a cup and a half or a cup and a quarter of chickpeas. So let me rinse these and get them spread out in the pan and then we'll come back. You're gonna need about a cup of cashews and you're gonna put them in a saucepan and cover them with water, just enough water to cover them. And then you're gonna put them on high heat and let them come to a boil. Once they start boiling, take them away from the heat and let them sit there until we need to use them. That's gonna soften them up. Okay, now we're gonna put our roasted, our um, chickpeas and our broccoli on the pan to roast. All right, pay no mind to the fact that my broccoli is still frozen. I did, I forgot to take the broccoli out and yeah, they're stuck together because I had them almost thawed and then I changed my mind about cooking the other day. And so then I was like, mm, they're not completely un unthawed. So back in the freezer they go. Cause that's how it is in the crazy house. You change your mind a lot. Okay. I've got those about, oopsie daisies, oopsie daisies. It doesn't matter, they're gonna separate in the oven. Okay, and now I'm just going to throw my, there's no pretty way to do this, just do it like that. Make sure that you're rinsing your chickpeas. We're gonna season them up a little bit, and you can use whatever seasoning you want to. I'm using this, oh, this right now. I don't even know if you can see that. Let's see, bring it in the light. I don't know why I didn't just turn the light on in the kitchen. See, there's light coming in from the window and I figure, oh, let's save some energy. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on like so. And again, there's no particular flavor that this has to have. So you can put whatever seasoning you want on there yourself. I will put a little salt on it because that seasoning there does not have very much salt in it. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt. Okay, then you can salt your food however you wanna salt it. I don't do too, too, too much. Now we're going to put this in the oven and let it roast. So our cashews are boiling, so now I'm going to turn the heat off and actually remove them from that burner and let them sit. They need to sit at least 15 minutes, but they're gonna sit until I'm ready to use them. Okay, the seasonings that you're gonna use, we're gonna use a teaspoon of onion powder. We're gonna use one tablespoon of garlic powder, salt to taste, about a teaspoon and a half of pepper or less or more, whichever you prefer. I don't measure my pepper out. I just pour it in there until I think it's you know enough. A third cup of nutritional yeast. Speaking of nutritional yeast, leave me a comment below if you think that nutritional yeast smells like stinky socks. Just saying. And this is, you know, I use, you know, different herb seasonings whenever I do stuff. So I always add a little bit of herb seasoning, whatever you have on hand. You can use, you know, thyme, rosemary, or I have this herb mix that I get from the German stores. And that's what I like. And those are gonna be your dry seasonings. That crap doesn't work. Okay, so we've got all of our seasonings prepared and ready to go. 
You're also going to need to prepare a cup and a half of either water. Ooh, look at me making a mess. Water or vegetable broth. Now, if you're going to do vegetable broth, you need to make sure if you're making it yourself that you don't put any oil in your vegetables while you're making it. Or if you're going to buy your vegetable broth, hence, <laughs> like me, um, make sure that your pre-bought vegetable broth does not have oil in it. Most vegetable broth that's pre-made, whether it's a powder or, you know, however it comes in whatever form, most of them have oil in them. They do make some without oil. So you have to really search for that and you have to really, you know, pay attention to the fact that it doesn't have any oil. Otherwise, this won't be an oil-free meal. Okay, be right back. Okay. Now, while your vegetables are roasting in the oven, you need to get your noodles cooked. So you can use whatever noodles you want to use. I'm going to use whole wheat noodles, um, however much you want. I'm just going to pour some in the pan, and, you know, we're just going to go from there. Putting our noodles on to boil. All right, veggies are in the oven roasting. Noodles are on the stove boiling. We're gonna make our sauce. So we've drained our cooked cashews that have been sitting for a while. Now we're going to add all of our seasonings and then you're going to add a cup and a half of water or broth whichever you prefer to use you're going to put this all in either your blender or your neutral blend or whatever thing that makes this stuff come out smooth i'm using my thermomix so i'm going to go blend this because i can't blend and talk at the same time because this thing is loud and i'll be back while everything's cooking, let me show y'all the cutest thing that I saw today. It was so cute! got our sauce blended up now we're going to add it to the saucepan I'm using the same pan that I cooked my pasta noodles in now we're just going to turn that heat on and let that cook or heat up so that it kind of thickens up just a little bit okay as you can see my sauce is starting to cook and it's thickening up a little bit I'm going to add just a little bit of white wine that's optional for you you don't have to do that it's just that uh, white wine adds such a nice, rich flavor to cream sauces. So I'm just adding it in there. Your choice. Okay, this is about this is about the consistency that I'm looking for. That's thick enough for a sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat down off, and we're going to. Put it together and there you have it roasted broccoli and chickpeas with a cashew cream sauce over whole wheat pasta let's give it a try let's give it a try I don't know what to try first broccoli oh there's broccoli and a noodle Let's try to get a chickpea in there. Okay, got a chickpea. Got one of everything with some sauce on it. Mm. Let me taste this sauce again. What's going on with you? Oh yeah. If you make the sauce, 
make sure you use vegetable broth. Don't use water. Mm, that just adds the flavor. Mm. Don't mind me. I'm just going to eat. Mm. Mm. I'm going to share here. Take a bite. There you go. Mm -hmm. You don't want to? Okay. Mm. That is good. Mm. Okay, I got to go. It's been lovely. It's been real. Mm. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you make this. If you have any questions, I'm going to put the ingredients that I used today down in the description box. Wait a minute. Wait just one minute. Just wait just one minute. Mm. And it was so easy. Okay, can we wrap this up? Because I'm obviously I'm hungry. Okay, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. So long, farewell, I'll be to saying goodnight. Honey, this is too good.